Are you ready? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're ready, we're going to begin our spelling uh, contest for today. And just a reminder that at the end of each round, um, we will uh, finish that round and we'll let you know. And then you can uh, hold your applause to that time. That would be good. And the people who misspell a word at that time, they will leave the stage. And they'll come down and join the rest of you out there. So um, just hold your applause until the end of the round and we'll go from there. All right. Um, are we doing the practice with everybody stepping up or are we in good shape to just go ahead? Can go, ahead sir. go ahead. Okay. So first up I have Catherine, Catherine Bresner. <coughs> Catherine, this word could be confused with a similar word, lid, and it is a noun, something that covers the opening of a hollow container. Lid, L-I-D, lid. That is correct. And just as a reminder for students is your spelling. If you would like to move your mask down to spell, you may do that. But then please put the mask back up when you finish. Today. Your word is hat. Hat, H-A-T, hat. Trace, your word is uh, near homonym, and it is part. This word is um, a noun, one of the equal or unequal portions into which something is or is regarded as divided, something less than a whole, part. Part, P-A-R-T. Madeline, your word is well. Well, W-E-L-L, -L, well. Shelby, this word has a near homonym. It is the word meet, a verb meaning to be introduced to or made acquainted with. Meet, M-E-E-T, meet. Bella, your word is gift. G-I-F-T, gift. Harlan, your word is thing. Thing, T-H-I-N-G, thing. Alexis, your word is a near homonym, and it is a verb. The word is post, to publish, announce, or advertise by, or as if by, the use of a placard. Post, P-O-S-T, post. Leah, your word is mess. Mess. M-E-S-S. -S, mess. Logan, your word could be confused with the similar word, mink. It is a noun, any of several slender-bodied, semi-aquatic, carnivorous mammals that resemble and are closely related to the weasels, and have partially webbed feet, a thick, soft, usually dark brown coat, and a rather short, bushy tail. Mink. M-I-N-K. Mink. Carter, your word is rush. Rush. R-U-S-H. Rush. All right, Hunter. This word could be confused with the similar word, tummy. It's a noun. Abdomen, belly, stomach. Tummy. T-U-M-M-Y. Tummy.
Hey, but your word could be confused with a similar word. Nook. It's a noun, meaning a remote, secluded, sheltered, or out-of-the-way place or part. Nook. N-O-O-K. Nook. Emma, your word has a homonym. Lane. This word is a noun. A narrow passageway between fences or hedges that is not traveled as a high road. Lane. L-A-N-E. Lane. Leah, your word could be confused with a similar word. Mice. It's a plural noun, meaning small mobile manual devices that control movement of the cursor and selection of functions on a computer display. Mice. M-I-C-E. Mice. Evan, your word is idea. Idea. I-D-E-A. Idea. Reckon this word could be confused with a similar word. Large. It's an adjective exceeding most other things of like, kind, in bulk, capacity, quantity, superficial dimensions, or number of constituent units. Big. Large. L A R G E. Large. Aria, your word has a homonym plates. It's a plural noun meaning shallow, usually circular vessels, as of china wood or plastic, from which food is uh, eaten. Plates. P-L-A-T-E-S. Plates. Very good. That's the end of the round. <laughs> Catherine, your word is... Uh, homonym. It's a noun. Cell. It means one of the compartments of a honeycomb. Cell. C-E-L-L. Cell. Tanea, this word has a homonym. Beak. It's a noun, meaning the bill of a bird. Beak. B-E-A-K. Trace, this word has a homonym. It is prize, an adjective having been awarded or being worthy of an honor or reward striving for in a, com a competitive contest. Prize, P R I Z E, prize. Madeline, your word is stopped. Stopped. S T O P P E D. Stopped. Shelby, you have a word that could be confused with a similar word. Gushed, which is a verb. Poured, issued, flowed, or spouted copiously or violently, often used with forth or out. Gushed. G-U-S-H-E-D, gushed. Bella, your word could be confused with a similar word. Foam, a noun, meaning a light whitish mass of fine bubbles that is formed in or on a surface of a liquid by agitation, as of ocean waves, or fermentation or effervescence, a dispersion of a gas or vapor in a liquid. Froth. Froth. F -R I'm sorry, the word is actually foam. Oh, okay. Foam. F-O-A-M. Foam. I think that's all right. She was confused and that was how it was laid out on here. Next. Harlan, your word is speech. 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 S-P-E-E-C-H. Speech.
Alexis, your word is booth. Booth. B O O T H. Leah, your word could be confused with the similar word, matching, a verb meaning pairing up or putting in a set as possessing equal or harmonizing attributes, combining as being suitable. Matching, M-A-T-C-H-I-N-G, matching. Logan, your word is studied. Studied? Is that what you said? Studied. Right. Studied. S T U D I E D. Studied. Carter, your word is blurted. Blurted. B L I R T E D. Blurted. The correct spelling is B-L-U-R-T-E-D. Hunter, your word is baskets. Baskets. B-A-S-K-E-T-S. -E baskets. Ava, your word is focus. Can you please repeat the word? Focus. Focus. F-O-C-U-S. Focus. Emma, your word is polish. Polish. P-O-L-I-C-H. Polish. Uh, the correct spelling is P-O-L-I-S-H. Leah, your word is detail. Detail. D-E-T-A-I-L. Detail. Evan, your word is gusto. May you please repeat the word? Gusto. May you please use it in a sentence? Lottie approached painting with the gusto of one unrestrained by rules or schools of thought. Gusto. G-U-S-T-O. Gusto. Brecken, your word is alas. Alast. Alast. A-L-A-S-T. Alast. The correct spelling for the word is A-L-A-S. Arya, your word is salad. Could you repeat that? Salad. Salad. S-A-L-A-D. Salad. That's the end of that round. Yes, if you misspelled on that round, then you can go ahead and leave. Catherine, your word is whiskers. Whiskers, W-H-I-S-K-E-R-S, -E whiskers. Denea, your word could be confused with a similar word, goggles, a plural noun, meaning eye coverings resembling spectacles, but with shields at the sides and short, projecting eye tubes with the glass fixed in the front end, used to protect the eyes as from water, light, dust, or cold, often used with pear. 
Goggles. G O G G L E S. Goggles. Trace, your word is feline. Feline. F E L I N E. Madeline, your word is reveal. Reveal. R E V E A L. Reveal. Sorry, I keep hitting that microphone there. Shelby, your word uh, could be confused with a similar word, embers, a plural noun, slowly cooling emotions, memories, ideas, responses from past experiences that are still capable of being enlivened. Can you repeat the word, please? Embers. Embers, E-M-B-E-R-S, embers. Bella, your word is aware. Aware. A W A R E. Aware. Harlan, your word is wallet. Wallet. W A L L E T. Wallet. Alexis, your word is Texas. Texas. T E X A S. Texas. Leah, your word is 40. Could you please repeat that? 40. 40. F O U R T Y. 40. The correct spelling is F-O-R-T-Y. Logan, this word could be confused with a similar word. Wrenches. It's a plural noun. Hand tools that usually consist of a bar or lever with adapted or adjustable jaws, lugs, or sockets, either at the ends or between the ends, and are used for holding, twisting, or turning bolts, nuts, screw heads, pipes, and other objects. Wrenches. W R E N C H E S. Wrenches. Hunter, your word is a near homonym. Kitchen. A noun. The personnel that prepares, cooks, and serves food. Kitchen. K I T C H E N Kitchen. Ava, your word has a near homonym. Impolite. It's an adjective lacking in courteous behavior, in etiquette, or in consideration of others. Impolite. I M P O L I T E employee. Leah, this word could be confused with a similar word. Capture, a verb to get control or secure domination of, to take over. Capture. C A P T C H U R E capture. The correct spelling is C A P T U R E. Evan, your word is circus. Circus. C I R C U S. Circus. Aria, this word has a homonym, camera, a noun, meaning a device that consists of a light-proof chamber with an aperture fitted with a lens and a shutter through which the image of an object is projected onto a surface for recording. Camera, C-A-M-E-R-A, -E camera. Very good, that's the end of our round.
Catherine, your word is ordinary. Ordinary, O-R-D-I-N-A-N-O, wait, I messed up. Okay, ordinary, O-R-D-I-A-N-Y, ordinary. The correct spelling is O-R-D-I-N-A-R-Y. Denea, this word has an ear homonym, hull. It's a noun, the frame or body of a ship exclusive of masts, yards, sails, and rigging. Can you please repeat that? Hull. Hull, H-A-U-L, hull. The correct spelling is H-U-L-L. -L. Trace, your word could be confused with a similar word. Playlist, it's a noun, meaning an official roster used for organizing a personal digital music collection. Can you repeat the word? Playlist. Playlist, P-L-A-Y-L-I-S-T. Madeline, your word is trickster. Trickster, T-R-I-C-K-E-R, -E trickster. The correct spelling is T-R-I-C-K-S-T-E-R. -E Shelby, this word has a homonym, dire, an adjective meaning demanding immediate action to fend off disastrous consequences, exigent or urgent. Dire, D-I-R-E, dire. Bella, your word is sitcom. Sitcom, S-I-T-C-O-M, sitcom. Harlan, your word has a homonym, indie. It's a noun, something such as a record or film produced by an unaffiliated company. Indie, I-N-D-I-E, indie. Alexis, your word is scrolls. Scrolls. S C R O L L S. Scrolls. Logan, your word is detect. Detect. D E T E C T. Detect. Hunter, your word has two correct spellings. Either one of the two spellings listed uh, here should be accepted. The word is savor. Savor, S-A-V-O-U-R, savor. Ava, this word could be confused with the similar word, eyesore. It's a noun, meaning something offensive to the sight. Eyesore. E-Y-E-S-O-R-E. -E -E. Eyesore. Evan, your word is scarf. Scarf. S-C-A-R-F. Scarf. Aria, your word is pineapple. Pineapple. P-I-N-E-A-P-P-L-E. -P -P -E. Pineapple. That's the end of the round. <laughs> Trace, your word is hedgehog. Hedgehog. H E D G H O G Hedgehog.
The correct spelling is H-E-D-G-E-H-O-G. -E -E Shelby, your word is Nile. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Generally considered the longest river in the world, the Nile has been critical for trade, transportation, and crop irrigation in Egypt for thousands of years. Nile, N-I-L-E, Nile. Bella, your word is inclined. Um, can you say that in a sentence? The father inclined his head over the crib, checking that the baby was sleeping safe and sound. Inclined. E-N-C-L-I-N-E-D. Inclined. The correct spelling is I-N-C-L-I-N-E-D. Harlan, your word is squints. Squints. S-Q-U-I-N-T-S. -S. Squints. Alexis, your word is wardrobe. Wardrobe. W-A-R-D-R-O-B-E. Wardrobe. Logan, your word is irregular. Irregular. I-R-R-E-G-U-L-A-R. -R -E Irregular. Hunter, your word is texture. Texture. T-E-X-T-U-R-E. -E. Texture. Ava, your word is cringed. Cringed. C R I N G E D cringed. Evan, your word is wizard. Wizard. W I Z A R D. Wizard. Aria, your word is vibrant. Could you use it in a sentence? The nurse had a vibrant personality that could cheer even the most despondent patient. Vibrant. V I B A R T E. Vibrant. The correct spelling is V I B R A N T. And that brings us to the end of our fifth round, I think. Shelby, um, your word is s'mores. S'mores, S-M-O-R-E-S, s'mores. Harlan, your word is basically. Basically, B-A-S-I-C-A-L-L-Y, basically. Alexis, your word is Jamestown. Jamestown. J-A-M-E-S-T-O-W-N. Jamestown. Logan, your word could be confused with a similar word. Ogre, a noun meaning a hideous giant represented in fairy tales and folklore as feeding on human beings, a monster. Ogre, R or O G R E, Ogre. I'm sorry. We're conferring with the judges. The correct spelling is O-G-R-E. Hunter, your word is caverns. Say that again. Caverns. Caverns. 
C A V E R N S caverns. Ava, your word is fidgeting. Fidgeting. F I D G I T I N G. Fidgeting. The correct spelling is F I D G E T I N G. Evan, your word could be confused with the similar word, dependable, an adjective meaning trustworthy. Dependable. D E P E N D A B L E. Dependable. And that's the end of our round. Shelby, your word has a homonym, weird, an adjective, meaning curious in nature or appearance, of strange or extraordinary character, odd or unusual. Weird, W-E-I-R-D, weird. Harlan, your word is lavished. Can you repeat that? Lavished. Lavished. L A V I S H E D. Lavished. Alexis, your word is cobblestone. Cobblestone. C O B B L E S T O N E. Cobblestone. Hunter, your word is scrawny. Can you repeat that? Scrawny. Scrawny. S C R A N W Y. Scrawny. The correct spelling is S C R A W N Y. Evan, your word has a homonym mutual, an adjective meaning shared in common, enjoyed by each. Common. Mutual. M U T U A L. Mutual. That's the end of our round. <laughs> Shelby, your word is Neptune. Neptune. N E P T U N E. Neptune. Harlan, your word is alibi. Can you repeat that? Alibi. Alibi. A L A B Y. Alibi. Correct spelling is A L I B I. Alexis, your word could be confused with the similar word. Invasions, a plural noun, meaning hostile entrances or armed attacks on the property or territory of another for conquest or plunder. Invasions, I-N-V-A-S-I-O-N-S, invasions. Evan, your word is adorned. Adorned. A D O R N E D. Adorned. That's the end of that round. <laughs> Beginning round nine. Show me your word is telescope. Telescope. T E L E S C O P E. Telescope. Alexis, your word is surrounded. Surrounded. S U R R O U N D E D. Surrounded. Evan, your word is Juneteenth. Juneteenth. J U N E T E N T H. Correct spelling is J U N E. T E E N T H. That's the end of that round.
Okay, now we're down to our final two. Congratulations, Shelby and Alexis. And how this works is the, the winner must spell two words correctly. So even if they win the first first round, they still have to spell one more word to win uh, the first place. Shelby? Your word is sardine. Sardine. S-A-R-D-I-N-E. Sardine. Alexis, your word is orientation. Orientation. O-R-I-N-T-A-T-I-O-N. Orientation. The correct spelling is O-R-I-E-N-T-A-T-I-O-N. Shelby? This word could be confused with a similar word, decimal, an adjective meaning subdivided into tenth or one hundredth units. Decimal, D-E-C-I-M-A-L, decimal. That is correct. Shelby, you are our winner of the spelling bee today. Congratulations. Congratulations as well to Alexis. Alexis will be the runner-up, and if, I believe they are having a regional spelling bee this year, as opposed to last year. So if um, if there were something to occur uh, where Shelby would not be able to go to that, then Alexis, as the runner-up, you would you would uh, you would do our um, you, you would represent our school for that spelling bee. Okay. All right. Congratulations to both of you. Includes the spelling bee.